Yeah, he's dead. Got him. Look at that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another High Prairie Kitchen. So, duck season is in full swing. Got some duck. I'm gonna show you yet another recipe that I like to cook it up. This one's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can kind of tweak it a little bit at, you know, as you see fit. Basically just a crock pot recipe for duck. So let's do it. Here we have our duck. There's a kind of a good variety of stuff. There's some canvas back and buffle head and I think there's some shoveler and wood duck and stuff. It's, you know, it's from this past weekend. So I've had it in the fridge for about a week and I've just been cycling the water. You can see it's pretty red still. So I'll give it one last rinse. But that's one key to uh, you know making duck taste better is to flush out as much blood as you can. That really helps helps make it taste you know better. Some people don't like it, so you want it really light. The lighter, the better. I'm gonna rinse it off one time, one more time here, just and then I'll go through and I'm just gonna transfer them over to the crock pot here. So I'm just gonna. Put the water on real slow here, and then what I'm gonna do is look for BBs and feathers that I don't, you know, you don't want to find those when you're eating. So, one more double take of all the game here, and then we'll throw them, throw them right in the crock pot. And there we go, we got all of our duck cleaned, hopefully BB free and no feathers. Now what we're gonna do is start seasoning up the duck so we can slow cook it. So. I probably should have mentioned that there's about, I think, eight ducks, eight whole ducks in here. So uh, obviously this recipe will vary if you have more or less, but there's about eight in there. So first thing I'm gonna put in is just some broth-based seasoning, just beef flavored. I'm gonna put in a couple tablespoons there. There, I'll just put three of those in. Next, we're gonna put bay leaf, just one bay leaf in. Then, just some red pepper. It's however much you want, you can give it a little kick or not. I'm just gonna put a little bit in, just to give it a little bit of kick. Then we'll do black pepper. Just, you know, once again, put a little bit of that in, just a dash of this and that. So you can kind of tweak this recipe yourself too, guys. So if you like other stuff, a little dab of garlic powder. There we go. Finally, onion powder. I'm almost out of that because so. All right, so there we got it all doctored up. Now what we need to do is put some water to cover it and then we'll let it slow cook for a couple hours. Now all we need to do is just put some water over this and we just wanna cover it just enough and then we're gonna slow cook it so that so the meat will pull apart, that's the goal. I'm just using the sprinkler here to try to get it kind of all mixed in a little more. And then what you want to do, take your hands and kind of stir it around just to make sure you're getting it all. And we'll add just a little more water. Make sure we got it all covered. Because basically you want that beef broth and all the other stuff to kind of soak into the meat. So what we're gonna put in here now are Worcestershire sauce, just a few dabs, just like that. And just a little bit of this for a nice smoky flavor. There. Now this is ready to go in the crock pot. All right, now we just gotta wait. I'm gonna put it on low. We'll give it about, I don't know, six to eight hours. We'll check it in a few hours just to see how it's coming along. But six to eight hours is generally what I do. You know, go out hunting, start it in the morning. Then by the time we get back, it'll be done and ready for the final steps. 
Alright guys, so the duck has been in here about eight hours now. What we're gonna do now is drain it. As careful as we can because this is hot. Go. And we're just gonna drain all that juice out. Because we don't want that. It smells really good. So basically, what we have right here, and we could stop right there. That's basically roast duck. But we're making barbecue duck. All right, so now you have a bunch of these breasts. They've been cooked, you know, for eight hours, really slow cooked. Um, they should pull apart fairly easily. Some of them are gonna be tougher than others. Yeah, see, it's kind of tough. But all you wanna do is just tear it apart. Uh, just like you pull pork or chicken or whatever, anything else. Just kind of sh try to shred it up as best you can. Finally got that duck all shredded and we could stop here. Like we could use this for if we wanted to make cheese steaks, if we wanted to do whatever. And it doesn't have to be duck, you can do the same thing with goose. So if you have goose or duck, you can just you know slow cook it, pull it apart, and then use it for a whole bunch of recipes. But like I said before, this is barbecued duck sandwiches, or pulled duck sandwiches, I guess, would be a more apt term. So, now we get to add the final ingredients. First of which is barbecue sauce. I just have some cheap barbecue sauce that I it was on sale at the grocery store, so I got it. You can pick whatever kind you like. And we're just gonna put a bunch of that in there. I got a lot of duck in there, so. Might as well just use the whole bottle. There we go. We're gonna rinse it out, because we want some water too, so it doesn't dry out. That's really important. So now I have some water. I'm just washing out the rest of the sauce in this. And we're just gonna put a little bit in there. There we go. And we're gonna stir it around, make sure that looks good. I'm gonna let it warm up just a little bit and then it'll be ready to eat. And this should be done, guys. Oh yeah, look at that. There's your barbecued duck. Now all you gotta do, I mean, you can just eat it like that. You can make a sandwich out of it, which is what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna make a little sandwich and go from there. Voila. All right, guys, now for the most important part of any cooking video, or just any time you're cooking, the taste test. See how this turned out. Might want a fork. I'll just try the meat here. That is really good. Really good. Dang. This was my first time trying this with duck. I've done it with goose before and the goose turned out really good. The duck is no different. And I used a whole bunch of different types of ducks because you know, some ducks taste different than others. So I wanted to make sure, you know, this would work across the whole spectrum. I've got canvas back, teal, wood duck, buffle head, uh, shoveler in here. I have all those species of ducks in this crock pot. I had like, I think one, about one of each. So it doesn't matter what type of duck you have, this recipe will be really good for you. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this recipe. It's a little more time consuming than the other ones I know, but it is just as tasty, if not more so. And also a great way to use up some duck that you know maybe you don't know what to do with. You've made so much jerky or you've done any, or you've done other stuff, you know, you've grilled so much of it. This is another good recipe to use for duck or goose. You know, it doesn't just have to be duck. If you guys have tried this recipe or have any other awesome recipes, let me know down below in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Or, you know, hit me up on social media. I got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, just shoot me a message or shoot me an email. All that stuff's linked down below in the description as well as this recipe. If you enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest hunting and fishing exploits, as well as more cooking recipes. If you haven't checked out the High Prairie Kitchen playlist, go check it out, guys. We have, this will be like the ninth video on there already. We got duck, goose, fish, deer, um, 
even wild mushrooms. So go check that out if you guys want more wild game cooking recipes. Also, if you guys are interested in hunting tips, tricks, how-tos, gear reviews, etc., go check out the hunting boot camp series. But that is all I have for you guys today, and we'll catch you out there. See ya.